Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Before anything else, let me greet you. Happy, happy new year. This is going to be my first vlog for the year 2023. Before we begin, a very, very quick disclaimer. The views and opinions that I will be expressing in this video does not reflect the views and opinions of the airline that I'm currently employed with and we are not going to be talking about any airline in particular in this video. And since we have just completed the holiday season, uh, everybody just came back from their personal travels, let's talk about something that is very timely as well and that is flight delays. I know this is quite a sad topic but we really have to talk about this because I'm sure one way or another when you have traveled uh, with any airlines, you have encountered flight delays as well and we I know we all hate that because it affects our hotel bookings, our itineraries for our travel. It's it's really, really a sad thing. So let's talk about what is the reason why flights get delayed. Do stick around until the end of the video because I'll be sharing with you a few tips that you might find helpful to lessen the disruptions in your personal travels. With that being said, let's begin. Number one on my list is weather. Of course, this is something that is beyond anybody's control. Bad weather at your destination or your current location might affect the timeliness of your flight. If there's a terrible weather or there's a typhoon or a... Uh, uh, there's a red lightning alert at your destination, they might advise your current location to hold all departures at that time. So even if you're already boarded on the flight, if your destination throws the information to the tower control in your current location that there is no uh, landings allowed at their destinations, you're not going anywhere. So Second reason a, uh, a flight could get possibly delayed is if your aircraft has technical problems or in short, the aircraft is just broken in some parts of it, which means that it's not cleared to fly. It's unsafe for the aircraft to fly. So for your safety, what they do is this is that they either they delay the flight or they cancel it altogether. If the engineers feel like it's something that they can rectify at a short span of time, they will probably just delay the flight for a few, a uh, few hours or few minutes, hopefully. Now, probably your question is why can't they just assign another aircraft for your flight so you can depart on time it's not as easy as it sounds because we have what we call flight plans and each flight destination is assigned a specific aircraft and most of the time all the aircrafts are are assigned a specific flight so they cannot simply get one aircraft from one flight and then assign it to another flight it's not as easy as that unless they have an aircraft on ground that is not flying to a specific destination or it has a later flight so they can just sort of switch it up but in instances where all all aircrafts are occupied or or all of them are assigned for a specific destination then you will really have to wait for that flight so again the aircraft has to be fixed and the reason why they are delaying the flight is for your safety. Number three reason a flight could get delayed is if we are going to have to offload a passenger. For example, all passengers are boarded inside the aircraft and suddenly for some reason, one passenger will have to be offloaded, let's say for a medical reason. That passenger will be removed from the flight and guess what happens next? The cargo people will have to remove the check-in bag of that passenger from the cargo. So they will have to retrieve that. Sometimes if it's already placed deep inside the cargo, they will have to remove everything, identify the bag, remove it. Because if the passenger is not traveling with us, their check-in bags cannot travel with us. And that can take some time as well. Because again, uh, we'll have to do baggage ID inside the aircraft. We're going to identify. We have to make sure that the said passenger who's leaving the aircraft will not leave anything that belongs to him. So that will take some time and it could possibly cause a delay. Number four reason is the late arrival of turnaround aircraft. What does it mean turnaround aircraft? It means that the aircraft that you're going to be using is already delayed. We have something that we call creeping delay so from the beginning of the day the flight has already been delayed like what i said a while ago the flights have already been planned and um, specific aircrafts will fly specific destinations so if it's if a specific aircraft starts off the day delayed 
then its succeeding flights will most likely be delayed also. That's what it means when we say late arrival of turnaround aircraft. So what happens is you are at the boarding gate, you are waiting. Let's say your departure time is at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and your boarding time is supposed to be 11.30. You look at your watch, it's already 11.45. Most likely that is a late arrival of turnaround aircraft. You're you're gonna hear announcements from uh, from the ground people saying that uh, the arrival of the flight aircraft that's gonna be utilized for your flight has been delayed. So that's exactly what it means. It's delayed. But last but not the least, number five on my list is the air traffic. Yes, just like uh, we get traffic on the roads on ground, we also get air traffic. It means that the airspace is busy. We have a lot of departures, arrivals happening at the same time. And yeah, you'll just have to wait it out. Uh, sometimes you'll have to wait for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. But again, this is beyond the control of your carrier or the flight attendants inside the aircraft. I'm not being defensive, but we are all inside the aircraft waiting to get the clearance from that uh, air traffic uh, controller. So yeah, those are the various reasons why a flight could get delayed. Now here are my tips on how I think uh, you could lessen the effects of these disruptions on your itinerary. First, if you're gonna have a transit flight or you're gonna have a connecting flight, uh, what do I mean when I say connecting flights? Just one example, uh, let's say you're flying in from Dubai, Dubai to Manila, and then from Manila, you're gonna be flying to somewhere else within the country. Try to allot at least three hours of gap between your arrival in Manila and your departure from Manila to wherever else you are going because uh, you, you want to have an, uh, some sort of allowance between your between your flights just to make sure that you're not running around. You you know, you're, you're, you're gonna be relaxed your entire transit time. Try to book for early morning flights because early morning flights means that the, the airspace is not as busy yet. There aren't a lot of departures and arrivals at that time. The aircrafts are freshly uh, released from their maintenance so you're not going to you're not going to experience any technical difficulties hopefully uh, with the aircraft. So yeah, early morning flights. I personally love doing early morning flights because I don't get much delays when I do early morning flights compared to when I do midday flights. If you're planning to go to any tropical destinations like the Philippines, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, try to uh, book flights or, or, or try to plan your trip uh, during the summer season where it's not rainy and you're not going to experience a lot of uh, weather issues because it's very common to have typhoon here in this area in this uh, Southeast Asia. So you don't want that. If you're traveling with kids, it's going to make your travel a lot, a lot more difficult when there are delays. So my suggestion is carry a lot of things that I, that will that will hopefully divert their attention. Bring snacks with you, bring books, toys. Um, iPads are a lifesaver nowadays. Download a lot of uh, videos if you allow your kids to watch because these delays will really take a toll on their uh, moods as well. And that's the last thing that you want when you are when you are stuck at the airport or you're stuck inside the aircraft you don't want a crying toddler so yeah divert them so there's those are just a couple of reasons why uh, some flights have to be delayed and hopefully the next time you travel you'll have a little bit more understanding but yes I understand that delays are so annoying and especially if you're going on your vacation you want to start off your vacation with a relaxed mind so that's why I also shared with you a couple of tips hopefully you'll find it helpful if you have your own tips on how you can ease up the 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 stress of being stuck on a delay please do share that in the comment section so we can help out other travelers as well if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do hit the subscribe button and of course i would like to promote also my husband's youtube channel if you're interested to watch a couple of our personal videos that's days with paulo here on youtube and you can follow him on his tiktok account as well that is paulo underscore sikat uh, it's right here and i'm gonna place the link down in the description box as well i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i look forward to seeing you on more of my videos this has been days with cat i will see you next time bye